After an 11 year hiatus, Wild Rivers is back. We're here to splash, slide, and explore this brand new water park. So let's do stuff. Okay, here we go. Whoa. I'm Tara. That's Lucas. We're on a quest for new adventures and great food. Come along with us as we explore our incredible world. Where are you gonna go? Only wild rivers. Drop in anytime and get into our summer vacation slides. They're totally tubular. The original Wild Rivers opened in 1986, and it was a big part of a lot of childhoods here in Southern California. When I was a kid, I went to Wild Rivers a bunch of times with family and friends, in addition to four years of junior lifeguards where we took a yearly field trip to the park, and those trips were pretty fun memories. I also went to Camp Fraser next door for a summer. Needless to say, the park held a pretty special place in my heart. So when they announced they were closing the original park in 2011, we made sure to go on the last day and say goodbye to a place that had created so many good memories. Since 2012, there have been many attempts to develop a new Wild Rivers, with initial plans to open the new water park as early as 2014. Obviously that didn't happen, and years and years and years went by, and a lot of us, myself included, just kind of assumed it would never happen. But in 2020, an agreement was reached, and in May of last year, the new park opened, albeit incomplete. With construction now completed, all attractions are open, so let's go check it out. All right, we're in the park, and it's like the nicest day of the year so far. So perfect. Mid-June, it's 73 and sunny. It has been overcast pretty much every day so far, so yeah. this is wonderful. And it's not even that busy, which is super cool. No, not too busy at all. We got parking really easily, and we just got a locker. It was $18. Use an app on your phone, so be prepared for that, but it's a good place to store all your stuff because you can't bring anything on the rides, really. I was under the impression that the closing time was 5 o'clock, but on the sign as we came in it said 7 and they confirmed 7, so we got an extra 2 hours. I think we're ready to start hitting some rides, let's go. First ride of the day, Fiji Falls, at least that's what we're trying to get on. Not sure. So I don't know how much of that you saw. That was Fiji Falls. That was our first ride of the day. Um, unfortunately, it didn't say anywhere, but I was just informed that hats and glasses come off for each ride, which is really annoying because I want to wear my hat and glasses. And I feel like I'm more, he said, you're more at risk of losing them on your head than in your hands, which is nonsense because I ended up losing them in my hands. And th this hat and glasses aren't coming off. Yeah. But it's a rule apparently, which I think is dumb. Uh, the ride was fun. You probably didn't see much, unfortunately, because <laughs> really it was really fast and I didn't know what I was doing. Uh, hopefully, every ride coming up will be better. Uh, so we're gonna, I think, stick here with this tower. These are some of the medium rides. Uh, moderate thrills, they say. So I think we're gonna do Pelican Plunge. Let's right. go. Let's do it. Well, as it happens, Pelican Plunge is the only major ride we didn't get on that day. But we did get on Samoan Serpent! Sure, why not? Yeah. Have fun. Thank you. Okay, here we go. Holy <laughs> Glasses. 
All right, change of plans. It looks like basically we're just gonna take whatever ride is available when we get to the top. So we said Pelican Plunge, that was actually Samoan Serpent. Which is pretty cool. And we're gonna attempt to get on Tiki's Revenge this time. But no, no guarantees. We'll get on what we get on. up sideways for a good portion of the ride so that sorry for making you throw up on that one uh, you end up in like a little bowl where you get circled around three times it's pretty fun uh, all right we got one last one in the so this area is separated into yellow and pink and the yellow rafts only go on four of the slides three of the slides four of the slides four and the pink ones go on two yep. the pink ones are very much in demand so we're gonna try and do the last of the yellow ones and then get on some big rides. So the last one is Pipeline. Pipeline. All right, here we go. All right, that one was Pipeline, uh, and we were warned we while on the stairs that it's the fastest, and yeah, it was the fastest. Uh, I was, I don't know if I was fully prepared for that one. It was a lot of fun though. I think it took me a couple rides. It was my first time at a water park since the last one closed. Yeah, yeah pretty much. So 11 or 12 years, something like that. And uh, it took me a couple slides to get used to it again, but now I'm having a lot of fun. I think these medium level ones are like a sweet spot for me where it's like a little bit of thrill, but not too much and it's like a little bit longer. We'll see about some of the other options. We got the big ones coming up. All right, so change of plans. We're gonna get some food, maybe do something mellow for a minute, and then we're gonna take on the big ones. All right, so I think there's only like one restaurant in this place, the Pacific Grill. And we got the Southwest Chicken Salad, which they also make as a wrap, mm -hmm. and chicken tenders and fries, which were in high demand. We had to fight some kids off. It was a duel to the death. No, I'm just kidding. But uh, it does feel like today might be the busiest day they've had, possibly in the history of this, in the young history of this park so far, because it seems like they're kind of struggling to keep up with demand on the food. Yeah. Um, you know, it's a young park, we'll forgive them. It wasn't a very long way. No, it looks pretty decent. It does look pretty decent. They had some, a lot of kid-friendly options, obviously. Chicken tenders, the Uncrustable peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, um, hot dogs, and some more adult-friendly items too. They had a cheeseburger and a few other snack items. This is breakfast, so I'm, I'm hungry. Can we stir it up a little? No. You just want to shovel it in your face? Yeah, I'm hungry. Oh, I like the dressing on the salad. Mm -hmm. Tangy. A little spice there. Ooh, it's got black beans, corn, tomatoes, cheese, chicken. The french fries are french fries. Weird. What? Amazing. They're actually pretty good. It's the right amount of crunch there. some pepper in the breading for the chicken tenders. It gives it a little extra depth. It's not terrible. So far pretty decent. 
It's definitely not anything super adventurous, but it's pretty well prepared. The pricing wasn't that bad. Um, for these two things and the Topo Chico, it was $34. It's not terrible. So, not the worst. All right, we're gonna finish this, and I think we're gonna hit the Lazy River. So we'll catch you over there. The perfect place to chill on a gentle current, the Castaway River provides a third of a mile scenic float past various water features. The lounging? swim or relax in one of the provided tubes. Been a trial and error getting into the inner tube. Stay on as long as you'd like by entering or exiting at either of the zero depth beaches. Hey, do you have insurance? <laughs> um, I, I believe we've had a traffic collision. Oh no. My neck. My neck. Within the boundary created by Castaway River is the kids' play area called Cook's Cove, one of the largest rain fortresses in the world, with over 70 activities that are safe and fun for young children. prepared to get absolutely drenched from all angles as kids manning the many water spouts seem to spray anyone and everyone with reckless abandon. Out, the star of this attraction is the 800 gallon tipping water bucket that dumps its contents every five minutes. Well, the plan was to do Tortuga or Typhoon, but the raft elevator appears to be broken. We got about halfway up the stairs and realized everybody was coming down because it was broken and then we got all the way back to the ground and it was fixed and then it was broken again. So we're going to go try something else. And by something else, I mean Aquaconda and Bora Bora Boomerango, two of the biggest slides in the park. At 61 feet high and 587 feet long, Aquaconda is a serpentine style family raft slide with a surprising drop at the end.
Starting from the same 61 foot high platform is Bora Bora Boomerango, another thrilling family raft ride. A tame start leads to a breathtaking drop where your raft boomerangs up and back down a giant steep wall. I got much of that. <laughs> oh man. Wow. All right, so that was Aquaconda and Bora 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 Boomerango. Uh, probably the two biggest thrill rides in the park. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get much of the drop on the Bora Bora Boomerango. But you did get some from watching other people do it, and it is yeah. spectacular. It was fun, man. That's quite a drop. Yeah. <laughs> and both of them were a lot of fun. Yeah. So we're on to the Tortuga, left. and the, the two that we tried to go on earlier. Yeah. <laughs> I got the raft elevator fixed, so we're headed over there. Both beginning from the same platform, Tortuga and Typhoon are considered by the park to be moderate thrill family raft rides. Tortuga was fun. Tara's not feeling great, so she's gonna sit out Typhoon. I'm gonna go do it solo. I'm doing it with you. Come on, let's go do it. comparison to a lot of the other rides. Uh, Typhoon was a lot of fun. I think that might have been the most fun ride I've had all day. So bummer you weren't there. Want to go on right now? Nope. <laughs> I'm good. So we're going to go check out the wave pool. At 25,000 square feet, Shaka Bay offers plenty of room to hang loose and take it easy.
So that was Shaka Bay, the wave pool. It's pretty cool. Actually, it's pretty warm. Uh, warmest water I've felt in the park so far. Uh, I guess it's a wave pool if that's your thing. Not really my thing. Let's hit another slide. So that last one I believe was Mano. This next one's gonna be Tala. Uh, they're right next to each other. They're pretty fun. Let's do it. All right, here we go. things up the classic is back Bombay blasters got to do it here we go all right we're on our way out of the park and there's no line for Bora Bora Boomerango. Gotta hit it one more time. Here we go. for one had a fantastic day I had so much fun what a time machine back to one of my favorite places of my childhood and dare I say it I think this park is better than the old one I think it is it feels a lot safer and uh, better <laughs> constructed I mean mm -hmm. it's newer so that's probably the big deal um, the locker systems are pretty nice a little expensive the food was pretty good um, all the facilities were nice the bathrooms were good Mm -hmm. Everything was nice and clean, lots of helpful employees. Everything's new. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and you know, some of these rides are just awesome. I had so much fun. I had to go back on the Bora Bora Boomerang. I, uh, Boomerango. <laughs> I would go on that thing 15 times if I could. Uh, but we got a chance to go on just about everything. Yeah. Missed a couple of things. But yeah, I, I'm so happy with my experience. All in all, really good day. All right, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up down below. And if you haven't yet, please take a moment to subscribe. It's the best way you can support our channel. Thank you so much, and we will see you in the next one.